Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of composite figures. As you can see, we have three helpful things that we need to remember when solving for the area of composite figures. The first thing you need to know is that a composite figure is made up of multiple different shapes. The first thing you have to do is break that composite figure into shapes that you know how to find the area of. Typically, this could be like rectangles, triangles, or circles. After you break the composite figure into shapes that you can find the areas of individually, you will add or subtract the areas of each part in order to find the area of the composite figure. After you add or subtract, that amount or that total combined area will be the solution to the area of that composite figure. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with some practice problems on composite figures. Now here's our first problem, and you can see this shape needs to be broken into other shapes that you know how to find the area of. When I look at this composite figure, I'm trying to figure out how can I break this shape into, let's say, rectangles or triangles or circles. So in this case, I can break this into two rectangles. Now you might think, let's go ahead and draw a line here, and we have our first rectangle here, and our second rectangle here. And what we could do is we could find the area of this rectangle and then we could add it to the area of this rectangle in here. And that would work. Or we could draw a line here and we could have a rectangle here and then we could have another rectangle here and do the same thing. So find the area of this one and then add it to the area of this one and then the sum of those two areas will be the area of the whole composite figure. Now it doesn't matter which way you draw your line, so we could draw it here or we could draw it here, it's up to you. Now in the case of this one, I'm just going to go ahead and draw my line here and break it into two separate rectangles. So we have a rectangle here and a rectangle here. So to find the area of this composite figure, I have to add the area of the first rectangle plus the area of the second rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and say this is rectangle number one and this is rectangle number two. Now the area of rectangle number one is just going to be base times height. This is easy for this rectangle because we already know the height and we already know the base. So the first rectangle is going to be base times height. So we're just going to say base of 10 times the height of 7. So this is rectangle number one. And we have to add that to the area of rectangle number two. Now, if you look at rectangle number two, we know the base of two, but we don't know the height. So from here to here, there is no measure. We have to figure that out. Well, in order to figure that out, what you can do is you can look and you can say this whole side here, this whole side is eight inches. And over here, this side is seven inches. So the distance from here to here has to be seven inches because it's the same as this side over here, which means that if the whole thing is eight inches, this little bit here that's left over has to be one inch. So this side right here is one inch. The area of this rectangle or rectangle number two is gonna be the base of two times the height of one. We're gonna find the area of rectangle one, which is 10 times seven, so this will be 70 and then add it to the area of rectangle number two, which is two times one, and that's gonna be two. So the total area is you're gonna add those two together, and 70 plus two is 72. Now our units are inches, and because we're talking about area, it's gonna be inches squared. So the area of this composite figure is 72 inches squared. Moving on to the next practice problem, this problem gives us this practice problem gives us a different composite figure that we have to find the area of. Now you might notice right away this time we have a rectangle and a triangle. So it's a little bit different than the last one because we have a triangle this time. The two together, the area of this rectangle and the area of this triangle 
are going to add up to the area of our composite figure. So we're going to find the areas of each one individually and then add them together. So the first one is the rectangle. That's kind of straightforward because we know the height is 10 and we know the base is 24 and the area of a rectangle is base times height. So we're going to say 24 times 10. So that's for the rectangle. And then the area of the triangle is one half base times height. So if you look at our triangle here, we know the height is nine, so it's gonna be our height. And the base in this case runs the whole length of the triangle, and that happens to be the same length as the base of the rectangle. So this is also going to be 24. So the area of this triangle is gonna be one half times the base, which is 24, times the height, which is nine. We're gonna go ahead and find the area of each shape individually. We're gonna do 24 times 10, well that's 240, plus one half times 24 times nine, and when you multiply those, that will be 108. And then you will add those together, so 240 plus 108 is going to give us a total of 348 for the whole composite figure, and that's gonna be inches, and because we're talking about area, it's gonna be square. So 348 inches square is the area of this composite figure. And finally, the last practice problem we have gives us another composite shape that is made up of what looks like a rectangle and a triangle. So again, we're gonna add the area of this rectangle plus the area of this triangle. Now what we can do is we can draw a line here and break this into two separate shapes. So the area of the rectangle is kind of straightforward. We know the height here is 12, so that's going to be our height. And the whole length of the base, the entire base, is 28. So this is going to be our base for our rectangle. This is going to be our height. We're going to do 28 times 12 for the rectangle. And we're going to add that to the area of our triangle. So the area of a triangle, remember, is 1 half base times height. This is our triangle. Here is our right angle. This four is going to be the base, and then the height is going to be the distance from here to here. So we have to find that distance. The way we're going to figure out that distance is we're going to draw a straight line across here. We know from here to here, all the way across, we know this distance is 22. And we know the full distance is 28. So to find this missing distance, it has to be the difference between 28 and 22, which is just six. So this height is going to be six inches. We're gonna say one half times the base, which is four, times the height, which is six. We're gonna find the area of each individual shape. The rectangle is 28 times 12, so that's 336, plus the area of the triangle, which is one half times four times six, which is gonna be 12. And then to get the total area of this composite figure, you have to add the two together. So we're going to say 336 plus 12, and we will get 348, and the units are inches, so it's going to be inches squared. And that's going to be our total area of this composite figure. And if you want to do some practice problems on finding the area of composite figures, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner of your screen to do some quick practice questions that will grade themselves and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!